In this video, we'll walk through some practice problems dealing with ABO blood type. Let's hop right in. A girl has type O blood. List the possible genotypes and phenotypes of her parents. Okay, so first we need to know the genotype of this girl. We know she has type O blood, meaning she must have the genotype little i little i. Given that she has two little i alleles, we know that she receives one little i from each of her parents. This means that the parents could have any other alleles to fill their genotypes. They could have another little i, making them type O as well. They could have the IA allele, making them type A. Or they could have the IB allele, making them type B. The only genotypes this girl's parents cannot have are the IAIB genotype, homozygous IA, and homozygous IB, as that would mean they could not pass on the little i allele. So her parents can have type A, type B, or type O blood. But if they are type A or type B, they must be heterozygous and able to pass on the recessive little i allele. Next question. A boy has type A blood and his mother has type B blood. What are the possible genotypes and phenotypes of his father? So the son is type A, meaning he could either be homozygous IA or heterozygous IA little i. Now this mother is type B, meaning her genotype could be homozygous IB or heterozygous IB little i. Given that the son does not have a possibility of having an IB allele, the mother must be heterozygous, passing on her little i to her son, meaning the son must also be heterozygous. Now that we know the mother passes on the recessive little i allele, that means the son must receive his IA allele from his father, meaning his father must have one IA allele in his genotype. His other allele could be any of the three options, which means he could be homozygous IA, heterozygous IA little i, or heterozygous IA IB. So the father, in this case, could be type A or type AB. Next question. A woman with type B blood has a child with a man who has type B blood as well. What are the possible phenotypes of their offspring? Okay, so we know to have type B blood, a person can either be homozygous IB or heterozygous IB little i. So if both parents are homozygous, they can only contribute IB alleles to their offspring and their offspring will be homozygous IB. If one parent is homozygous and one is heterozygous, then the homozygous parent would still always pass on the IB allele, meaning their offspring could be homozygous IB or heterozygous. Once again, this combination of parents could produce only type B offspring. And finally, if both parents are heterozygous IB little i, then they could have a child with type B blood, either homozygous or heterozygous, or a child with type O blood if they both give the child their recessive little i allele. So overall, what we see is that these two type B parents could have a child that is type B or type O. If you'd like to do more genetics practice problems or learn some other genetics concepts, see the other videos on my channel. 